Aymene says the ministry, in collaboration with other stakeholders, has been working tirelessly to implement programs to raise awareness and provide accessible dental services across the country, as well as to educate the public on proper oral hygiene practices and the importance of checkups. Oshana Region has additionally implemented mobile dental clinics in rural areas where access to such services are limited. As we move forward, it is essential that we continue to build on the progress we have made. The responsibility of improving oral health does not lie solely with healthcare professionals or policy makers. It is a collective effort that requires the active participation of individuals, families, schools, communities. We must all take ownership of our oral health and be ambassadors of change within ourselves. The emphasis of preventative care outreach activities and workshops and demonstration of proper hygiene practices will enjoy a priority throughout the Oral Health Week. Oral health and non-communicable disease have a connection such as gum disease which leads to disease and can potentially lead to heart attacks. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Afro Latin Namakalu says dentists face an uphill battle to ensure seamless services to their patients. Although we have seen an increase in our human resource, there is still a shortage of specialized dental <coughs> professionals. This shortage may only may not only impact our ability to provide specialized treatment, but also places immense pressure on our current workforce, leading to a burnout and reduced capacity. Infrastructure too poses a challenge. Some of, this, some of our facilities, especially in rural settings, lack equipment and technology needed to provide modern, efficient dental care. Without the necessary tool, it becomes difficult to maintain high standard we strive for. The week is being observed under the theme, A Healthy Mouth, A Healthy Body.